Outline is my one pound ant weight combat robot. We compete in competitions with it all over Eastern Europe, and as you can remember, the hits were insane. In the last couple of months, I've been upgrading it and making Hotline the scariest and most destructive one-pound combat robot. This video is sponsored by PCBWay, who helped me make my new version of Hotline. More about them later in the video. Welcome guys to the Drumbotics channel. Yes, Hotline is back. It is my most popular video on my channel and it's not even close. Last time I competed with Hotline in Latvia, coming home with first place and a couple weeks before that in Poland, also first place. Hotline's record is two wins with zero losses. But I hope to have even more fights with this robot as combat robotics are becoming more popular in Europe and even Lithuania. I've spent a couple of months making a new version and some minor upgrades to my robot. As I will compete with it in Romania on November 3rd, a lot of people have been asking to make a breakdown of Hotline and I said, sure. So today I will show you everything about my robot and what did it take to build it. Of course, we can't forget how beautiful this robot is. Hotline logo here, Drumbotics here. And what's this you might ask? This is Hotline's new logo. The name is inspired by this old 80s mobile phone and I took the theme with the logo. Pretty cool, right? This roof that keeps electronics from falling is printed out of ABS because it doesn't need to be strong. While I was creating my robot, I knew top and bottom would need to hold literally the whole robot as my sides are soft, so they needed to be as rigid as possible. The carbon fiber is just that. My old carbon fiber parts would not work with my new design, so I needed new ones. This is where my sponsor, PCBWay, stepped in. Do you want any part of your next combat robot to be made? Yeah? Then choose PCB Way. They can CNC machine and make you basically any part you want. If your part is 2D? Don't worry, PCB Way laser cuts too. And if you're just getting started or you don't have a 3D printer, they can 3D print for you. Just choose what material you would like to use and press quote. PCB Way were the ones who made my parts, and as always, the quality of them are top tier with a high quality carbon fiber. Okay, let's get back to the rest of the video. I've made this plate to get my battery faster, as in the old version I had to unscrew all of these screws. Now with it I only need to unscrew 4 screws and get to my battery even faster. The weapons stay the same, the shaft is the 6mm titanium yellow rod, some vashers here to stop friction and two basic bearings that are press fitted into the weapon with these soft adapters. The weapon is spun by a belt with 2006, 2750 kV brushless motor. Powered by this 36 amp brushless ESC for even more powerful hits. Pulleys are printed out of nylon as it withstands high temperatures. One of the most important things are the robot's main rails and the sides. They are all 3D printed out of black polypropylene. I chose this plastic because it acts like TPU but it actually weighs lighter and as I try to save weight, this is the perfect option for me. Main rails are both 7mm thick with almost 100% infill but it's still light at 20 grams each. On the other hand, sides are printed with lower infill, because they don't need to be that strong. Polypropylene is soft, so naturally basic screws wouldn't hold much. For that reason, I use these flat-headed 2.7M screws, and they attach everything very tightly. One thing we can call stupid about my older version of Hotline was the sides would be very thin in the back. Well, in my idea, I thought the back wheels would be wider, so I gave more space to it. But turns out, I miscalculated something, and it fits even without that extra space. Now I changed it to all be one thickness. Same with the main rails. I removed this big ABS cube that acted as an adapter for this bearing. Instead, I changed the wall design and now the bearing simply press fits into the side here. I believe that one of the most important things for a combat robot is forks. How else would your opponent ever get to your weapon? The forks are held by these polypropylene mounts. They move like this so that it can stay on the ground while I move. The wedgelets are 0.8mm anodized titanium and are held by 4 screws. I've been thinking about long forks design and at first, I actually wanted to make it like that, but the reason I chose bite force or lynx type forks is that I can make them myself. They are cheaper and in the last competition these forks worked. Won every ground game against all these wedges. The back is also from polypropylene, but this one is from carbon fiber nylon, for stiffness. Let's look at what's inside. I use a 450mAh3S battery. As I need to save weight, I have shortened the wires and saved 4 grams. 
I almost been trying to avoid it, but here's my most important upgrade. Brushless drives. Yes, I have transitioned from basic N20's brush motors that have literally no power as we saw in Latvia. Now I will have real pushing power with these brushless motors from Repeat Robotics. And they were expensive. With all the shipping and imports, I have spent $120 for these two. Take your guesses how much Hotline cost me in total. Whoever guesses right will get 10% off their next order in the Drumbotics shop. At 3S, these motors will spin at 1400 RPMs, which is perfect knowing that the arena in Robot Challenge will only be 2x2 two two meters, which is considered big. Brushless drives are powered by these two little 30 amp ESCs. Of course, powerful motors are great, but without friction, they would be useless. This is why having wide wheels is such a crucial thing. They are molded out of soft silicone, and you might have noticed I got back to my old back wheels design. With this design, it's more stable as my front wheels are more out this way. Hubs are printed out of white ABS. Back wheels are printed and molded separately. When I make them two, I just glue them together. Wheels are ran by belts, so one belt to the front and one to the back. In the middle here is a double 24 teeth pulley. There are four millimeter bearings in the wheels. They're held by these four millimeter titanium shafts as in the last time the steel ones bent. Now let's get back to the electronics. Last time in Latvia, we all remember what happened here. Yes, I lost, and the reason I lost was because this wire lost contact with my battery and stopped working. Now I was extra focused on my soldering. I used soft 22 AWG silicon wires to connect everything. And these are all upgrades that I've made. Now I'm getting ready for competing in Robot Challenge in Romania. Also, brand new news, on October 12th, there will be the first one pound ant wing competition ever in Lithuania. A video will come out, of course. I'll try out my robot there with other local builders. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos about Hotline and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.